Okay, so today we are going to be doing weight painting with the new Blender 2.6 for the SL Avatar. Now just looking at this, I've got it mostly set up. I have a piece of clothing that I want to have weighted. I also have an avatar that is already weighted. It moves with the armature in everything that needs to be moved. Oop, there we go. But as you can see, those clothes don't move with it. So how do we fix that? Well, what we do is we click on this. You can see it doesn't have any vertex groups, no armature modifiers. So to fix that, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and give it some weight paint after I attach it to the armature. So you click on the outfit you want first or the piece of clothing. Then you click on the armature. With control P, it opens the parenting menu here. And we are going to do armature to form with empty groups because we don't want the deform groups given to it. So when we click on this now, it has all the groups here, but none of them are locked. None of them have any real weights. It just knows what they are, so it can read them. Now we're going to go into weight paint mode. Actually, we're going to go into object mode. We're going to click on the already weighted avatar, and then we're going to click on the piece of clothing. Then we're going to go into weight paint mode. Once in weight paint mode, you will see your brushes. You'll also see a stroke curve and appearance. None of those you really need right now, so you can close those down. What we're looking for is our weight tools. We're trying to copy the weights from the avatar to the cloth. So how do we do that? Well, under the weight tools, you're going to go down to transfer weights. Once you do that, you click transfer weights. It's going to bring up a little menu down here. You're going to transfer group or active. Active would mean this piece of cloth right here, you only have certain vertices selected and it's only going to affect those vertices. However, we want it to copy everything, so we're going to have the group to be all. The method would be the nearest face and that's what we're working with right now. There's also other methods that you can try out at your leisure. And we're going to replace all. We could replace anything that is empty, but we're not going to do that. We want to replace everything since nothing has any weights on it right now. So we're going to do that. And you know, you would say, well, where's my apply button? It's done already. That's it. All done. You go into object mode now. You click on this and it moves like a dream right with it. There is no breaking, no bleed through, nothing unless you go into seriously distorted positions like this. So you are fantastic and good to go. Now I realize that this base avatar does not have the greatest weight paints, but that's something else entirely. Once you have the weight paints, you can go in and tweak them as you need. So, see there? And to switch between these easily, instead of clicking bone by bone by bone, you can just right click while in weight paint mode to click each bone individually to edit them on their own. It's a lot easier and a lot faster way to work it. And in any case, now that we're done, this is just a tester. I'm not going to go through the whole gambit of fixing it all. So we're leaving it like this. We'll turn off that layer. We don't need to see. And we are going to go export this. So we're going to go File, Export, DAE, Colada. Now we're going to find where we want it. I'm going to put this in my pictures. Mm. There we go. We're going to call it test to DAE. That's fine. It turns red when you have a name duplicated. 
which means it'll replace it. I'm good with that. It's all for tester for me. <laughs> what you need to make sure you have selected here under the operator preset you can click second life rigged second life static we can restore the defaults this is what you're going to see the first time you open this up to export it now if you're exporting a rig selection it's already there ready for you to go all you gotta do is do that and if it's a static item same thing so it's easy as that now you go through here everything's done and happy you click export colada and your gold now let me open up firestorm here this is what I use personally you can use any other ones welcome to my build platform let me turn and go open up my upload thing here to my mesh model I'm going to click on tester and open that up now you can zoom in see how it is it's looking great fantastic no reverse vertices all good now we're going to go to the upload options and change the scale here no we don't need to change the scale what am I talking about we're going to include our skin weights there we go alright so we have our skin weights included we're going to choose lowest on the level of detail because really a level of detail doesn't really matter when it comes to a test so we do comisk tester as a name and let me drop drop these now normally I would create my own LODs however the generate LODs are just fine for my purposes at the moment see the lowest LOD not really particularly awesome looking however it's a piece of clothes that the physics don't particularly matter here so let me calculate the weights and fees on this 12 Linden's one download 1.4 land impact so let me upload this beast and I will show you just how well it works this was not made to my body size but rather a smaller body size but you will see that it does move around and does what it's supposed to it attaches wiggles and moves and does all its fun little things it definitely needs some weight paint adjustments but beyond that let me change this to a better thing that you can see under my preferences I always run under very low unless I need to change it up here so let me change the high so you can see a little bit better let me change the wind light sky here to test uh, you still can't see that properly so we'll do body design maybe alright well you still can't see the shadowing and everything but it's working, it's moving, it's doing what it needs to do without a lot of work or hassle and a heck of a lot less time doing a bone weight copy. And that would be it. Thank you for watching and uh